Hi, everybody. This is story time. And this is A. And today we're going to be talking about Earth Day. Earth Day happens every single year on April 22nd, which is only a few days away. So we're going to be learning all about the Earth and how amazing it is. You know, just before I started reading the story, I was outside soaking up some nice warm sun, and it felt so good to be outside in the fresh air. So let's learn all about Earth and its history in this story by Stacy McNulty called Earth, My First 4.54 Billion Years. My name is Earth. Some people call me Gaia, the world, the blue marble, or the third planet from the sun. But you can call me Planet Awesome. I have seven siblings in my solar system. I'm closest to Venus and Mars. Some used to say I have eight siblings, but Pluto is more like the family pet. Do you see in the picture? We've got Mercury and Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and then at the bottom, there's little baby Pluto. And then there are my cousins. My Milky Way family has billions of planets. Told you, big family. My favorite things to do are spinning. It takes me a whole day to go around once. And circling the sun. That takes me an entire year. My best friend is the moon. We hang out all the time, even when you can't see her. The moon needs 27 days, 7 hours, 43 minutes, and 12 seconds to go around me. I've timed her. I was born 4.54 billion years ago. I don't remember what it was like to be a baby. Who does? But I've been told I was a hot mess. Explosive, gassy, and very cranky. Then I started to cool off, and things got wet. Really wet. It rained thousands of years. I'm not kidding. Thousands. I was soggy and lonely. A few islands popped up in my oceans, but no plants or animals. My islands must have been lonely, too. They got together and made bigger islands called continents. I remember Ur and Nuna and the ginormous Pangaea. Then Pangaea split into seven separate continents. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, and Antarctica. Things are always changing. As I got older, stuff began to grow. Look at 4.54 billion years ago, I arrived. Almost half my life. You probably wouldn't even recognize me, though I've always been round. Then 2.4 billion years ago, if anyone had been alive, they could finally take a breath. Air finally came. Then 470 million years ago, plants that could live on land. Then 400 million years ago, then came bugs. Bzz. The 240 million years ago, my next dinosaur. Then 210 million years ago. Yay for mammals. They're fuzzy and warm. Then 150 million years ago, birds. Did you know they're relatives of dinosaurs? I didn't know that. Did you? Then 130 million years ago, flowers. I'm a very pretty planet. It's not bragging if it's true. 200,000 years ago, Homo sapiens, you humans have big brains and walk on two feet. That's a lot that's happened in all of that time. Look at all of that. The time of the dinosaurs was one of my favorites. I mean, 
everyone loves dinosaurs. They lived with me for 175 million years. Until... Asteroid! It's not always easy being Earth. Volcanic eruptions, ice ages, major collisions. But on the inside, I'm the same planet awesome. So we've got the inner core, then the outer core, and mantle, and then the crust, which is what we have on the crust. Humans have been super fun. No other species has ever been interested in learning about them. Other animals are nice, but they mostly eat and poop and never wonder about my amazing life. But sometimes humans forget to share, play nice, and clean up themselves. Still, I bet humans will turn out to do really great things. We love you, Earth. The end. So what do you guys think? Did you learn something interesting about Earth's history? You know, we're celebrating Earth this week, Earth Day. I wonder if you could go online and go search on the internet some interesting facts about Earth. Maybe you might learn something about dinosaurs or about prehistoric animals like the saber-toothed tiger or the woolly mammoth or even about that big supercontinent named Pangea. There's some really cool things that you could learn about. When you do, why don't you shoot me an email and tell me the things that you've learned? I look forward to it. It was so great with you today. I'll see you soon.